Hi everyone. A while back I made a video where I sealed my roof bars into my van roof using thread locker to try and stop water getting in. Unfortunately that didn't work out, but I got a new solution which is tried and tested. So let's get these roof bars off and sealed up before the winter weather sets in. The first job was to clean the van roof. With that done, I could begin removing the first roof bar, first taking off the covers with the key, and then using the Allen key to remove the M8 bolts holding the bar to the van roof. I said earlier that the method I'm about to use is tried and tested, and to be completely honest, I was using this method before I used Threadlocker, including through wet winter months. So I'm really confident in its ability to seal the roof bars to the van roof. I can't remember my exact reasoning for switching to Threadlocker, but it's clearly a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Anyway, at the very least it gives me a chance to show you all how I'm sealing the roof bars and preventing water getting into the van. I keep my roof bars on the van permanently and although I don't use them too often, I've found these Thule ones to be very quiet and they don't really impact the fuel consumption much either. I've put links to the roof bar specifications in the description below if you're interested. After removing the roof bars, I could clean under the feet and in the mounting holes. The blue liquid thread locker had stained the paint a little. Not ideal, but it would all be hidden by the feet. With the roof bar off, I can reveal that my chosen method to seal the roof bars to the van roof is... PTFE tape, also known as plumber's tape. This thin white tape is widely used for pipe work and is brilliant for sealing threads. The important thing to bear in mind when applying the tape to a thread is the direction you apply it. Put it on the wrong way and when you screw the thread into the nut, it will unravel and won't give a good seal. The rule of thumb is, with the thread pointing towards you, apply the tape clockwise. This way when the thread is screwed into the nut, or in this case the mounting point, the tape will go with the thread instead of against it. I try to wind the tape on as carefully as possible as it's quite delicate. Starting at the tip of the bolt, but leaving a little bit of space so it's possible to screw the thread into the nut easily, I wound the PTFE tape around a couple of times before moving up the bolt to cover most of the rest of the thread. After tearing off the tape, I smoothed it out on the bolt and then could do exactly the same on the second bolt. While I finish this, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to my channel and do leave a comment about what you'd like to see me cover on my van next or if you've got any questions. With both bolts covered in PTFE tape, I can push them back through the rubber feet and remount the bars onto the roof, alternating between both sides to give an even fit and making sure to tighten firmly but not over tighten. I completed the second roof bar off camera using exactly the same method and that was the job done. As I said in my original roof bar video, I'll be sure to share if this method fails, but I'm very confident it will be just fine given the fact that I've tested it quite extensively already. As always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more van build videos. Thanks for watching.